Hello and welcome to the SFM music channel. This video is going to be the first in a series of music theory videos that I'm going to call the Hitchhiker's Guide to Music. I'm calling it that because I'm going to assume there is people out there where these concepts are totally alien and I will try to explain it as such. I think this will be a great way for beginner and experienced musicians to learn or to reaffirm their knowledge. This video is about pitch, one of the most fundamental building blocks of music. So, pitch. In music, the pitch of a note is a way to describe how high or how low a note is. Most music is made up of notes of specific pitches. The amount of specific pitches there are depends on the type of music you're listening to and where it comes from. Most music I am familiar with has 12 notes, but some have many, many more. But these other types of music is a discussion for another video. For simplicity, you can assume my videos speak mainly about Western music. But I don't mean country and Western. I mean the music culture of the Western world. That includes everyone from this guy, to this guy, to these guys, and everyone in between. They all have something in common. They all more or less accept that there is 12 notes. These notes are A through G on the alphabet, as in A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These notes make up all the white notes of a piano. All the white notes actually make up the key of C major, but we'll cover that in another video. But the white notes only make up 7 of the possible 12 notes in Western music. You need sharps and flats to name the other 5. When you call a note with a sharp or flat after it, it raises or lowers it by one key on the keyboard. We call this distance a semitone. A semitone is the smallest distance in pitch in western music, but of course there is an asterisk. There is exceptions to this statement, but that's not in the scope of this discussion. For now, sharps raise and flats lower. On the piano, notes to your right are higher and notes to your left are lower. So if this note is D, then this note is D sharp. If this note is G, then this note is G sharp. Similarly with flats, this is D and this is D flat. This is G and this is G flat. A common point of confusion with new musicians is that pitches can have more than one name and their name largely depends on the context. You don't need to worry about that for now, just know that there is more than one name for the same pitch. In fancy terms we would say F sharp is the enharmonic equivalent of G flat and D sharp is the enharmonic equivalent of E flat. But it actually gets worse than that. There is also double sharps and double flats. They do exactly what they sound like. They double sharpen or double flatten the note that they are applied to. Double flat is represented by two flats stuck together and double sharp is represented by, you guessed it, well, a funny looking X. So D double sharp is the enharmonic equivalent of E and G double flat is the enharmonic equivalent of F. If you're starting out in music education, you don't need to worry about double flats and double sharps yet. They are far less common than the regular flats and sharps. It's usually in this part of my real life theory lessons where an overly enthusiastic student will ask, but where are the B sharps and the E sharps? Well, here's B sharp, here is E sharp, and while we're at it, here is F flat and here is C flat. So, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video and you want to continue learning about music, please hit the subscribe and bell button below, and feel free to share and comment.